people seem to be talking about this so-called gospel album that Snoop Dogg had featured or produced. What I find this so interesting is that the energy that Snoop Dogg used for this gospel CD is the energy of legitimate gospel artists. He used the energy of the church to produce a satanic gospel CD. Now, some are probably asking me, why do I have to be negative? And why does it have to be a satanic gospel CD? What exactly does Snoop Dogg believe in? At one point, he converted to Islam and allegedly was a part of the nation of Islam. And he spoke before a nation of Islam crowd and he greeted them with the words of peace, assalamu alaikum. And it seemed like when they, when they showed a view of the congregation, they were smiling, they were happy because there's Snoop Dogg, the celebrity. And he spoke well of Louis Farrakhan and people applauded him. Then he was a Rasta and he has his weed company and he sells his weed and, and to move forward, he's got his, his website or his YouTube channel where he's smoking weed. This vulgarity, this half naked women, but now he's producing a gospel CD. And in an interview I watched, Snoop Dogg cried. Now, what's funny to me is that in these times that we're living in, people, or I'm gonna say satanic energy, is using the energy or emotions of so-called good people to promote their evil agenda. Because if you notice when people cry now on camera, that bring about views. People sympathize with that. People can relate to the tears and they will say, keep your head up, be strong. Whereas at the same time, that person that's shedding those tears, those crocodile tears, have something extremely diabolical forming or have formed in their heart or their spirit. So that's the way it is. And it's sad and unfortunate because you don't see no other religion no other race or nationality opening the doors of their, to the religious institution to celebrities like the black church does. Don't matter if they're Christian, don't matter if they're Muslim, if they're black and a celebrity decide to want to work with the church, the church opens their doors, regardless of what the agenda is. I don't see the Catholic church opening their doors to rock stars, although that rock star may say that he grew up Catholic or his father's a priest or his relatives are a priest or uh, their mother grandparents were Catholic. So now the Catholic church is supposed to open their doors to this person to make an album or CD promoting the Catholic church. I don't see that happening in Islam with those that come from the Middle East, but it happens in the black community. And you wonder why the black community takes so much heat and attacks because the black church in most cases have sold them, themselves to the devil. They partnership 
with the satanic agenda. Now, if you look at this photo that's on here, you notice now most people will look at that and they may not see anything. They may think it's a good thing because I've heard several reviews from people that heard that album and I've seen articles that was written and I'm going to put one of the articles on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself. And they were talking about, you know, how the gospel album was surprisingly great. It's great. And people were talking about how inspirational it is because Snoop Dogg's name is in front, but yet he's using the energy of the church of real gospel artists, just like Blacks get shot every day in the hood and no one thinks too much about it. When blacks came out with Black Lives Matter, they say every lives matter, all lives matter. But now that some white kids were shot up in a church, now they are protesting saying that we have to get rid of these guns. And they're not speaking of the illegal guns that took out many young black males and females in the black community, but they're talking about legal guns in the white communities. And yet black people jumped on the bandwagon are fighting much harder than they have ever fought for those that have died in their own communities, in their own families. Well, that's what Snoop Dogg is doing regarding the church and the energy of the church. In most cases, people talk about the church. They talk about pastors. They talk about the Bible. They talk about the most high. They talk about how it's a slave man's religion, but now that Snoop Dogg made an alleged gospel CD, everyone is now praising it, talking about how great this gospel CD is. But the devil is in the detail. Because if you look at this photo, first of all, he's wearing a satanic robe. I've seen warlocks wear this robe. Look at the arm, the sleeves. Look at how his wrist is positioned on his hip. Not just that, but look at the Baphomet sign that he's displaying in the church. And something I just noticed at this moment, I just noticed this. If you look at this area here, you see what appears to be creatures with a hood on. Do you see these hoods right here? And I could be thinking too much into this, but I see those hooded beings that's here, that's in purple. Not just that, have you noticed the upside down triangle on his mic? Now, I've seen this photo in another, from another angle, and that mic piece right there, when you hold it upright, it looks exactly like a skull. But most people won't pay mind to that because they mesmer they're, they're mesmerized by the fact that is Snoop Dogg, the Baphomet sign. His pinky finger has that long fingernail on it. And it looks like, and I could be wrong, but it looks like it's painted black. That's not by accident. Now I, I, I drew red around the robe. I drew red around the Baphomet sign and I had the arrow pointing to that pinky finger. But most people won't pick up on that because people are blinded by the light, by the sunlight that he talks about in one of his rap songs. Now, I listened to that CD and when you first start listening to it, it sounds straight gospel music, which you're used to hearing on Sunday mornings. But then as you listen to it, Snoop Dogg comes in and there's another element that creeps into that. This right here is no more than satanic evangelism. It's satanic evangelism and they're using celebrities 
like Snoop Dogg that completely and totally disrespect women, calling them bitches and hoes. And even on his YouTube channel, he have half naked women right in the middle of it. All right. So this is the same man that's now producing a gospel album. And now everybody is now praising and I'm surprised and I'm not surprised that the church partook in this madness. They opened their doors to this madness because of the fact that it's Snoop Dogg and they were probably trying to bring attention to themselves. So this is no more than satanic evangelism. This is how the satanic agenda, this is what the satanic agenda is using to draw the young people out of the church and you wonder why the young people even in today's black churches are so out of control because they go to church on Sunday they may be in Sunday school or Bible study and in the Church of God in Christ YPWW and Bible band but then when they get home in their rooms they're listening to this madness this same information that the church is opening their doors to. So they're saying, okay, well, Snoop Dogg is cool. If he, if he can make gospel music, why can't I listen to his other music? And if Snoop Dogg is smoking, smoking a, a spliff on his video, guess what? Young people are going to think that's okay to do, right? So they're going to follow him. They're going to follow him. This is no more than satanic evangelism that black folks, the black church is opening their children to, and you wonder why the children are so confused. You're wondering why the, the, the young people are leaving the church and submitting themselves to the unrighteousness of the satanic kingdom because their parents are selling their children's soul to the devil, the church is selling the youth soul to the devil for limelight, for attention, just to be able to say that we sang with Snoop Dogg and Snoop Dogg came to our church. They're no longer re re relying on the gospel of the truth, but they need the dim light of celebrities to give them shine. And they don't realize that Satan is in the church, that Satan they allow in the pulpit. And when he leaves, just like when there was a war in heaven and how it talked about how Michael and the archangel, Satan and, the, and Michael the archangel had fought. And when, when Satan was kicked out of the kingdom, he took two thirds of God's angels with him. When he got kicked out of paradise, he took two thirds of God's angels with him. I believe it was two th uh, uh, one third of God's angels, right? So, or two thirds. But because I hadn't I hadn't studied that in a while, but he took the Most High's angels with him. There he had followers. And that's what's going to happen. That's what's been happening. And that's going to what's continue. That's what's going to continue to happen. As long as the church keep opening their doors. To these satanic imps, these satanic evangelists. So I'm going to put the article on the bottom. Feedback and tell me what you think. Until next time. I'm fearless.